If you guys are lacking coins for all the new cards that are out, then check out MuleFactory.com. They're the cheapest site I've found for coins. They deliver in five minutes. And if you use TGC Kurt 5 at checkout, you get 5% off your order. Check them out with the link down below now. What's up, guys? Curtis here, and welcome to a brand new FIFA 17 series. Today marks the start of something very new to my channel. That is a brand new Road to Glory I'll be starting. I've done Road to Glories in the past. It's been quite a while, but I kind of wanted to bring it back and I wanted to bring it back with a bit of a twist. I want this to be a full road to glory where not a penny is spent on any players or anything like that but also to have challenges. There's loads of different things I've got set out that we're going to be doing and of course you guys will be helping me along the way to set different challenges too. So a lot of stuff's going to be going on in the background here whilst I explain some of the ideas. This includes my starter packs, everything like that. So Firstly, we're going to talk about each division. Each division, I'm going to spin a wheel and I have to use a squad from one of the top five nations. When we get to Div 1, maybe we'll mix it up a bit, allow hybrids, different sort of things like that. But every division, we have to use a top five uh, league. Other than the first one, Div 10, it's obviously we're not going to have too many coins in the bank. Foot champs, I'm going to be free to do whatever I want, just follow the re requirements on there, and when it comes to foot champs episodes, we will smash through the games, like they will be done very, very quickly. On top of that, when we get higher up in the divisions, we're going to set a goal for each sort of thing, each league, there will be a vote held for which particular team I want to pick, and that will be a team where, like a sticker book, we want to try and complete all of, um, all of, get all the players from that club. So in the past, I've done the likes sort of assembling Arsenal series like that. Partly inspired to redo this, guys. I'm not going to lie, by Tom bringing back Mission Manchester. It got me really nostalgic, and I thought this would be a lot of fun. And I feel like I can make this absolutely sick. I went out and bought uh, FIFA 17 on the PS4, and I'm really committed to like try and make this a really cool series. But... On top of those team goals, we're also going to set individual goals of stuff we need to reach each like week, each month, long-term goals, short-term goals, whether it's um, I get a reward if we manage to pack a bronze in form, I get a reward, like all these different possible things, loads of different goals, and you guys can come up with them, and they're things we have to try and reach. We, they're, they're our checkpoints, our, our things that we have in mind. So, and any suggestions like that, don't forget to put them in the comments down below. I will be asking frequently for your guys' input and all that sort of thing. Um, I'm trying my best here, if you can't tell as well, just to like, get some coins to start us off. I had some FIFA like football club points or whatever they're called. We managed to get a few little players by uh, discarding the kits and all that sort of thing. But uh, I want a couple other bits of um, chat with you guys as well. Do you want to see this with face cam or would you prefer it without face cam? I can get these done way more frequently without face cam. So that, that's something that I think could be interesting. And also, my current internal debate is whether or not I do it on my main channel or on my second channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link at the top of the description to my second channel. If you guys want to sub over there, maybe we'll try an episode on the second channel and see how it goes. Um, but as you can see in the background, we're going to stop talking about the series a little bit. We'll cover more throughout the episodes. But um, as you can see, I kind of managed to like put as many coins together as I could. And we kind of made like this, this Colombian side just to start us off. I thought there were so many coins I picked up for 150 that players rather that I think would compete against these sort of teams however we came up against a team that actually for a starter Div 10 team wasn't too bad he had the informed Davies from Everton he actually had like some chemistry he had some good players and it was my first game ever playing on PS4 and it was a bit of a frustrating game, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I I've recorded a lot of games now, I'm, I'm quite a way ahead, I've edited a lot already. But this game is probably the worst we're going to have for a long while. We, we went 1-0 down pretty early on and I was just really struggling to get a foothold of this game. The fact I was playing like wingers in midfield, I had no defensive midfield, my defence was pretty awful. It was a bit of a struggle. We did pull a goal back here with Valencia who's a pretty sick, actually uh, cheap silver Colombian striker. But he slipped his uh, centre forward in here. And uh, he, he punished me. One problem um, I found is I hadn't set up all my custom tactics. I had offside traps still on. And I, I did fix that after this game. And it did make a huge difference. But um, I, I gave away the most infuriating penalty here. I was on attacking at this point, And I wasn't even controlling the player. And he, he does that little like step out. And of course, you guessed it. He puts the penalty away. And that made it 3-1. Which made it incredibly annoying. But as that plays out in the background now. I'm going to explain a little bit more um, about this series. So... 
I want to try and do this several times a week. I want it to be quite a common thing that we do, but uh, I want it to be so involved with you guys. So this is going to be like, there'll be really long episodes. There'll be really short episodes. There'll be sniping. There'll be trading. There'll be packs. There will be everything. It will be the, the truest form of ultimate road to glory. By the way, as you saw there, somehow I, I didn't finish it. But um, also, as you can see as well, the team name is like Kurt. Uh, C-U-R-T-G, so it's like Kurt G or Kurt's Ultimate Road to Glory. That's what I thought. That's what we're going to go for. So it's going to be Kurt G. But uh, we picked up a Colombian uh, winger there as well. I thought it'd be pretty handy for the squad. But anyway, whilst a little bit more of that goes on in the background, as I was saying, um, I, I want it to be uh, so heavily involved with everyone. And I'm going to be doing um, these goals. I'm going to be doing a lot on Twitter and I'm going to be reaching out to you guys a lot. But I think this should be a lot of fun and probably I should have done this at the start of FIFA. But I've got so many any plans for it I think this could be absolutely sick so as I've said about 50 million times in this episode give me anything you want in the comments down below and I will try my best to make the series to do with that but as you'll see we picked up a couple players here. I picked up a proper DM with this learner guy who looks mental for 350 coins. And then Iscuerdo, the, the left winger for 650. I picked up so many players on a cheap that I feel like I don't need to worry about fitness and stuff. I'll just run them down and then resell them and it should be pretty easy to shift them on. In this next game, we come up against a pretty easy team. Everyone's off chem. He does actually have the same winger as us, but uh, it, this one should be a very comfortable win. We've got a bit of a team now. I think buying the winger and, a, and the gold DM just changes the team uh, just enormously. And it, I feel like it was very uh, clear to see that almost um, instantly in the game. Iscaredo scores this goal and that puts us 1-0 up. It, instant impact for us and uh, exactly what I wanted to see with the team. And then Valencia, couple step overs. It's, just, it's a little bit easy. The, the finish doesn't actually go in, but it knocks down and does come back to him. And it's easy as that for him. So... I was thinking about other sort of goals we could set to with in-game, obviously this guy rage quits, but, but in-game maybe we could have like a particular thing where if a player scores like five, if like all these different possible things could happen, I think it could be interesting and foot champions goals could be interesting too. I'm not going to spoil it, but I think we're going to have some chances at foot champions in the next couple of weeks as well, which should be very, very exciting. Also... I know this This is the pilot episode, guys. That means I'll be asking you guys a ton of different questions. And the first one, um, another one I'm going to ask you as well, is how long do you want these episodes to be? In my head, I pictured around like 13 minutes, 12, 13 minutes. As you can see, this episode, I think, is, is about 13 and a half. It's not completely finished yet, but that's what I think it will be. So, so hopefully you guys like that, but let me know the exact timings you think is good. But as you can see in the background, I was getting a bit of uh, the few of the squad builder challenges done. Because that means you get some of the manager tasks, which I think are going to be pretty important to uh, to helping us out to build a little bit of coins to start off with. I didn't realise that um, that those squad builder challenges like were just so easy. That's why I didn't do them right at the start. It helps you build up a little bit of a bronze base, and you can actually get a few different squad builder challenges done. So later on in the, in the series as well, you will see we build up a little bit, and we get players that really the lone players just aren't really that great. And I ha I have a weird thing with lone players where I feel like. They just, they, they don't perform the same. There's something about them. I just never want to use a lone player. I don't trust them. And then in our two-player pack, we get Tim Howard and Izzo. I felt like Izzo would be useful for um, for getting a bit of like uh, fitness changing up. But in general, neither of those two are too useful. Then we pick up a, a silver left back for 150. These players are so cheap. You can essentially kit out your whole squad for like 1,300 coins. It just, it changes the whole team dynamic. And... It means in Div 10, like this team, you could easily just go unbeaten if you had started with this team. Like, it's pretty easy. We still do have like a right mid in central midfield, which is a little bit annoying. Also, as you can see on the screen, the kits. I got those two as the two starter kits, and I actually love them. The grey kit is genuinely the kit I use on my main account, which is mental to actually get a good kit to start off with. And the red one with the black trim, I think looks, this one, it looks so sick in game. So I'm going to stick with these two kits for a little while. And uh, we've got the berry badge on the go at the moment and maybe we'll mix it up. But this game, guys, was the laggiest of game of FIFA I've ever played. Look how laggy this is, just celebrating. Luckily, I managed to get the long shot earlier on. And I felt like I was playing really well. But here's just a little example of how bad the lag was. Like, I clicked to shoot so much earlier and it just keeps going and going and going. And really annoyingly, I wanted to, like, try and get a big lead so that he'd quit. But he somehow managed to equalise and it just made it all the more frustrating playing with this lag and, uh, and just him pulling one back. But second half, we uh, we were doing alright. We managed to lay it off to uh, his... I actually can't even tell who that is, but we might. Oh, Becerra, the new centre mid. We laid it off to him. He gets a goal on his debut, and uh, we were laughing at this point. Diaz runs down the right hand side, 
And then uh, obviously it's a little tap in for the new sign in as well. And at this point, I believe he actually ended up. No, he didn't quit. He paused it. Oh, there, he did quit. Sorry, what am I talking about? He did quit. And that means we get our little uh, our little free one win, which despite all the lag was uh, was pretty nice to get. I felt like we uh, we did deserve. Deserve a little win there because we've been playing well. 614 coins too. I show the coins a lot of the time after each game. I feel like that'll be pretty handy for you guys to tell as we build up. And of course, we only need two more wins to get out of this division and get a nice little bonus. I decided to pick up a new striker. Um, I went for John Cordobar. As some of you guys know, I actually really like him in general. He's a player I use quite a lot in bargain teams. And that meant we could shift on Valencia. But yeah, John Cordoba is a little bit slower, but he's got a lot more physicality. His shooting's great. And he's just really good target man. He's really good on the ball. So uh, I bought him in for that reason. I think he has like 85 strength, which is nuts. And then we come up against this team, which in all reality should be pretty easy. It's a back three, which is easy enough to attack. And then in all honesty, his team is not the best. A couple goals, which is uh, interesting. And actually some semi-decent ones, but I feel like I scored such a sick goal of kickoff. He gets that one touch that deflects off him. All this one touch passing around the field. Gets to our player on the edge of the box. One extra touch there, slotted in. Every player other than the second to last took one touch, and within two minutes we were one the up. I was pretty happy with that goal. I thought it was a sick pass and moving. And then on the ninth minute, John Cordoba uses his strength here. He gets around the player, keeps holding him off, cuts inside. Really, really uh, easy kind of goal there. It was lucky to take the deflection, but uh, we'll take it nonetheless. And then a nice second goal for Cordoba here. It shows already with 30 minutes in the game and he's already got two. Diaz with a little bit of skill. I think the guy had given up at this point. He wasn't really trying. And then he quit from the game. So that was another little rage quit. At least we were getting the wins because a lot of people are getting glitches where if someone rage quits, they don't actually get the win. But that puts us one win away from going up. And that's when the series will start to get a little bit different. We're not going to be stuck with our standard Colombian team. We're going to have requirements. We're going to have things we're going to have to do. And it's really going to start to spice it up. I'm going to try my best to get as much into these episodes too. I, uh, I've been recording for a long time for each episode. I think this first episode ended up being like three hours because I was properly like scouting each player, making sure everything was alright. But as you see, the team fitness was pretty awful. But in Div 10, I felt like it wouldn't be an issue. The fact we had a 80 fitness bronze right mid in centre mid who's just awful, I didn't think would be too big of an issue though because everyone's just pretty bad really in these divisions. But um, this guy had a lone Suarez up top, so that could have given us a few issues. But it, other than that, his team was pretty awful. And it took us about 25 minutes here to get our first chance of the game. And uh, it just didn't go well. Like, we missed that easy chance and then struck the post. And it felt like it was going to be one of those frustrating games. I had a lot of chances like that. But Diaz put us 1-0 up in the 56th minute. And that was when the floodgates seemed to open. Diaz created another chance here for Izquierdo, which uh, luckily, uh, in my opinion, bounced back to him. And I'll take the easy 2-0. And uh, yeah, it was basically done from there. 70 seconds minute we play it out wide to our uh, left back who puts in a cross and it's an easy tap in there for our uh, left winger and that means it's 3-0 and we have won the divisions we have 2.7k which will mean next episode we can get a lot more stuff done we can spin for our first team in fact we're going to spin for the team right now the league that we're going to need so as you can see we have a spin wheel with five different teams on it and guys we're going to go ahead and spin it now there are the not sorry not five teams there are five leagues we're going to get the Serie A the Calcio A we have to build a Italian league team so we're going to obviously go ahead and sell all of our players now we're going to get everyone sold and for the next episode we're going to have a load of coins to buy some players we're going to be doing some squad builder challenges and we're going to see what can go on so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this are you excited for this series do you want to see it frequently answer all the questions I've given because there has been a ton smash that like button if you're looking forward to it subscribe if you're new around here have a fantastic day guys and I will see you all next time see ya